everybody. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Zones in on that overhand right. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Now there's the jab. to show you his blocking ability. Missed the body shots. Gets rid of that body shot. Halfway through round number one. Tiger's punch is far off the target. Good, solid right. And yet another big shot comes in. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Able to cover up that gut. Alvarez's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Fires off that hook. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Great hook to the head that time. Tiger's knockdown in that last round has really got his corner pumped up here. Good? All right. Breathe. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. I know. Nice work. Nice work. You're doing well. We got it. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. As he starts this fresh round, coming off a round in which he was knocked down, we often look at his legs. But sometimes even more telling was the disposition, the way that he and his corner acted in between rounds. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point, Joe, because if the corner's not confident, they're not calm. If they show panic, then, of course, a fighter absorbs that. Tiger's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. 
Well, he ties up there. Tiger's proving to be elusive. Well-placed jab by Alvarez. Showing you some defense there with the block. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work. Ricardo Alvarez is... Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Locks it away. Keep those hands up. Scored well up top. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum had to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. And he just holds on there. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep working, bud. Ten seconds to go in this round. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do. Throw that jab! Beautiful. You need to throw more punches out there. You got me? He's out working. Let's let him feel those punches. You gotta bring it to him, kid. We're not winning this fight right now. Let's. Number three is underway. A little head hunting with the left. Not able to land the uppercut. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Able to get rid of that one. Tiger's left, landing well. Focus! Oh, he got hit, but so did his opponent. Fires right back. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Relax. Relax. 
just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Let it go. And that's the end of round three. Stop waiting on him. All right? You're waiting on him. I don't, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put right. your jam in his face up, and keep it there. Shorten your punch or something. You don't need that. Came in away. Away. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Listen, when he reaches... Tiger's power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, he's up two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent, just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Tiger's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit. But he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. going to be easy to survive. Oh, Alvarez's oh, legs look shaky. He was Lynch. hurt. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it going. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Double jab by Alvarez. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Alvarez's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. We count down the final moments of this round. Very nice defensive guard there. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, 
What do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Well, I don't know if he gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Alvarez's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. A well-placed left hand up top. He missed with that headshot. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's Step hugging. Focus. Halfway into round number five here. Keep moving, keep moving. Punch. 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 He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with Keep that move? Well, Joe, Keep when you're moving. fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Yeah. Work the body, kid. Body shots. seconds. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search, kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never Unload. expect them Unload. to be able Unload. to go to. Look at Archie Moore and Von Durrell years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. <laughs> Back to the body! 
Tiger's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through round six. And that focuses. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. His work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, okay. he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punches are a little too wide. He needs to shorten them up a little. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Clean and crisp. Good, that good. is the way to describe the punching we've Listen, seen out of him tonight. To not much left in this stairs, fight. Stairs, Teddy, okay? not much doubt as to who's controlling. No, a triangle is better than a square. Why? More size. And he has shown me a lot of size. Given angles, counter punching, working inside, working outside. That's why he's the man. Don't fight going backwards, right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your face to cut the ring off. You can't win this going back. Back him up. Always use the face. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Tiger's back to business right now. The entire first half of this fight completely went his way. Engages in the clinch. I'm low. Come on, kid, focus. Tiger's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. One, two, one, two. this kind of defense Teddy I like this kind of guy that just says go ahead think you can try to hit me up top you can't great movement a very good movement very good vision he sees everything to do this you have to be very calm he's very calm he's very in control reaching the halfway mark of this round Strike after catching one by Alvarez. Pace yourself. And he ties up on the inside. Pace yourself. Alvarez is 
is ruined with that punch right there. There it is. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end it right here. That looked like the great pitch of Gray Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. in prime form power surge here knockout winner that's what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.